Hey everybody, this is Joel and Paul from Moving to Mexi.co. I kind of like switched up the cadence there. Yeah, I don't know, did. like switched it up. That's Anyways, cool. bienvenidos a nuestro canal. And I, you know, tried something a little bit different there. And if you're new to our channel, uh, you probably don't know this, or maybe you kind of saw some things below, but did you know we give away a week's stay in Bucerias every single Saturday? And that's at a minimum because sometimes we do some bonus draws and stuff. Yeah. And uh, one of the places that you could actually stay at here is at uh, Casa Victoria. So someone's going to win that trip today. And a matter of fact, that winner is being announced from yesterday. Or not yesterday, but last Saturday, because we had a contest where oh, yeah. they had to guess which smoothie I normally drink, but what smoothie did I have when we went to Organic. Yes. So we did have a winner, and then everyone else got put into the, the, the draw for this Saturday. Yeah. And we're going to draw a name of, uh, from the list of everyone who got the answer correctly, and you will win yourself a week's stay in Mexico. And then I thought... Well, you know what? I'm going to throw in a little bit of a bonus uh, this week because guess what else uh, we did um, a couple days ago? We, we exceeded 50 uh, channel members. Oh, cool. Yeah, so those are the folks that are kicking a little bit of uh, money to Joel and Paul. Helps us, uh, you know, pay for our tacos. You know, And uh, we appreciate it because, like, every single cent counts and allows us to kind of keep making these videos. So to all of you that have uh, joined the membership program, uh, we truly appreciate um, your support in that regard. And if you haven't joined the membership program, there's uh, tons of perks. You might want to consider doing that. You just like hit that little uh, join button. You That's can maybe right. pop that on the screen right now just so that we can sure. they can see what they need to uh, need to do. And I, uh, it starts from uh, 29 pesos, so like a buck 50 a month. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that buck 50 a month goes, uh, goes a long way. Uh, with the yeah, if everybody, with the YouTubers, if everybody did a buck fifty a month. We'd be doing pretty good right now. <laughs> yeah, we'd right? be able to we'd be able to do more travel videos. Yes. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna work on that. If you haven't subscribed yet, maybe now is a a better time than ever. Hey, like hit that little subscription uh, button and toggle the notification bell. And uh, why is that important? Well. I, I can't count on even two hands how many times I've seen a comment. Ah, oh, damn! I missed the the Saturday video and that bonus question. I knew the answer, right? Because yeah. they didn't have their notifications turned on, right? So turn on the notifications because every now and then, on a random basis, we'll just like throw something out there, and the first person to guess, you know, wins a week like they did last week. Right. Although we did give a little bit of advance warning on that one. Right. We gave people a few... Uh, yeah, we keep everyone on their toes. Yeah, right? but we like to keep people on their toes because yeah. it makes it a little bit more uh, fun and I think more fair. Right. More random. Yes, and we're all about random. All about random. I thought if we're going to do the top 10 most memorable moments uh, or, or episodes, uh, I thought why not do the top 10 reasons to move to Mexico. And again, that was a most recent episode and that was probably one of our most, our best performing Except for the last week, the last Taco Tuesday was the best so far. Oh, when we had William and Maria, yeah. Wow. yeah. And yeah. thank you to you guys. I mean, uh, it was a really honor to have William and Maria like hang out with us on a Taco Tuesday. And I think by now you should probably see a video that William's doing of uh, and Maria of their experience uh, here in our little uh, beautiful town of Bucerias. You know, but you guys uh, helped us, and we talked about this before. I don't know, but with this video was the last video. Um, that you know we're really all about building this you know community and we feel that we've done that with moving to mexi.co hey hey paul like we're slowly gonna you know, building this community of like people i now consider friends that are joined or are subscribed to our channel but now you know they're living here in, in bucerias and yeah you know we're they're now part of our real physical community right and then everyone else you're part of our there are uh, vecinos. Our vecinos, uh, like a real vecinos, and then all of you who are not living here are our vecinos. Soon to be vecinos, hopefully. Yes, yeah, soon to be vecinos. <laughs> so, anyways, number ten was the top ten reasons to move to Mexico, and what really stood out for you in that in that video, Paul? Oh, I think it was. Let's see. I think it was just cool, like when you rode the horse, and then randomly we ran into Bunny Shapiro. <laughs> That's right. And I was like, ah, there's Bunny, you know, and and. And she was a good sport. And just, yeah, just kind of like having some fun. Yeah. You know, we are just having fun. And she was into it. We were into it. Mm -hmm. Even the cowboy guy who uh, lent me his horse for yes. the 100 pieces was somewhat yeah. into it. Somewhat. Until I took off down the beach. <laughs> but, My um, daughter and I uh, went away 
last weekend we went to Muscoda and to ride horses for two days and I'll, I'll send you a little clip you can throw it in and you can see uh, well look at me I'm I'm uh, right now I'm, I'm on a horse and I'm, I'm just starting to get it to lope uh, towards a cow and, uh, and I'm using my cowboy skills to uh, to get that uh, that uh, cow to move out of the way anyways that was a fun time with my daughter and uh, the <laughs> I don't know if this is the coolest thing but it, it is a great thing for a parent because it's freaking expensive to raise kids because you got them in all sorts of things. You're driving them all over Hell's Half Acre. You got them in swimming. You got them in dance. You got them in baseball. You got them in soccer. It's like nonstop, and the bills just keep coming in. And then finally, they go to university, and that's just a whole nother level. But you know, we went away for the weekend. It was 170 bucks for two nights, uh, our accommodations, <laughs> horse rentals for two days, and all of our meals. You know, awesome. if I did, I couldn't even spend a quarter of a day in Banff. Yeah. Right, Alberta for, for that price. So, you know, travel in Mexico, uh, you can do it on the cheap, but you're not staying in, like, cheap places. You're staying in really, really uh, cool places. And more on that as we uh, do our travel episodes. Yeah, right. So then moving on down to number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. I'm trying to go with my jazzy voice. I don't know okay. if I quite did that right. Yeah, but I, think, I, did, I thought you were going for number the creepy nine. voice. Okay, so number nine was uh, Omar and Encore. Osmar. 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 Uh, Osmar and Encore. He's a character, huh? He's a freaking character. Two for one guy. And, uh, yeah. you know, and then we had the Encore at Encore, which was the uh, video who, well, uh, based on the people who got uh, the answer correctly, are going into today's draw, where we did the Encore at Encore. And uh, there's uh, there's uh, Osmar wheeling my wife. Yeah, right. You know, that like was pretty crazy. Two for one guy. How do you like? I don't know if they were both on Tinder or how that worked out. But <laughs> I'm they... not, not entirely sure how yeah. that connection happened. But That's crazy. Anyways, all in good fun. Uh, Osmar and Encore. I thought that was a pretty memorable two videos. But I thought, hey, I'm just gonna I'm gonna package it all together into to one yeah. memorable moment. Me Numero ocho uh, was why I moved to Mexico and when we ran into Ted. Oh yeah. yeah, and that Ted was, was the cool guy. yeah. Ted was a cool guy, and it was the we were going to do the gas station video, and then we did the the gas station tacos, and we he randomly came out of it's, uh, a, it's a cool moment. Yeah, we were just we we're just shooting the intro, and he came around the corner and saw us, and just kind of explained like that you know our videos are helping him. Uh, they were kind of helping him discover Lucerius because he was a. Uh, he, he was, was on new, the fence he a bit. He was new in yeah, town. He's yeah. on the fence. Yeah. So or yeah, I'm on the fence of moving here. And then even once you're here, you're like, now what do I do? Yeah. You know? And so these videos kind of helped him. You know, kind of get through that transition. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, like, we, it's awesome to meet our followers in person and right. to actually hear their story. And he, and he shared a little bit of his story with us. And I That's thought right. and I thought that was a pretty darn cool moment. Very cool. So going on down to number seven. And I have to say, number seven for me was doing the handmade tortillas with uh, my good friend Ian Boswell oh, and yeah. his wife Gretchen. Yes. And Ian, as uh, some of you may or may not know, was uh, a pro cyclist in the, in, like, I mean, he was in the peloton of, like, all pros, right? So he, yeah. he's done all the major tours, Tour de France, Giro d'Italia, uh, Vuelta España, and every other race uh, under the sun. He uh, retired from pro cycling. But now he's working for a company called Wahoo, and he's doing gravel racing. Anyways, he loves Mexico, and he comes yeah. here every year. Um, he's going to be doing an event with us here in November. And part of the things we're going to be doing in the mountains is pre-shooting some of the roll uh, to advertise that event. And uh, mm. so i got to put that together for you, Paul, because we're going to get some Let's really, really cool uh, cycling scenes out there. Cool. Anyways, he loves tacos, and he's always wanted to learn how to make a proper tortilla. He, he made a tortilla press uh, back home in Vermont, and he said every time he made a tortilla, he failed <laughs> miserably. So we took him to the best. And these ladies uh, here in Busurias... They have a lifetime um, of experience. A lifetime of experience. Like, yeah. literally, they both started Tor making tortillas Tor tortilla as makers. small girls on the ranch. Yeah. Numero seis, number six. I'm actually going to combine two things here, Paul. Okay. You know, because they were in the same general vicinity, but we did two different videos. Okay. So one was how to shop like a local, where we did, went into Mega, and we showed people how to shop locally. Yeah, at like a local, a at a grocery store, right? Yeah. We shop locally here, like, at all the small places. Everyone knows that. Like, we do that as much as we can, but sometimes you go to the grocery store, store <laughs> grocery store grocery store and then people want to know well what does that look like yeah. you know like what can i expect and we had that that uh that uh, comment so we did it 
and we got quite a good response from that yeah, video. Yeah, people were very interested in that. And how that uh, works. And then the next one we did was uh, at the farmer's market that's between Mega and La Comer, and we went in there and I had my fortune read. Yeah. By the guy with randomly, the... Randomly, right? Yeah, randomly. He was the one that does the milagros, and the milagros are the the artistic um, decorations of like crosses and hearts and you know you have the uh, hearts with the the wings of angels and yeah. and you place these metal yeah, yeah these metal pieces on it that have a, a, a significance to you right. and they make them so they yeah. they hand make these and you can order th order from them online but he just randomly came up to me and just started asking me questions and he right. read my entire fortune so um, Yes, yeah, supposedly I'm going to be around for a lot more years, Paul. That's good to hear. Excellent. Oh, we're going to number five. <laughs> never, I've though. never done that voice before. <laughs> 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 number five, just to switch it up, you know, yeah. like, hey, if I made hey. you laugh with that voice, if I made you cry, if I made you want to turn this video if off, you made, if just, you made you cringe, if you made you cringe, just hit the like button. I'll yeah, and I promise like. I'll never do it again. Hit okay. Hit that cringe button. Hit the cringe button. So the like is actually a cringe in this uh, in instance that, at, that at that moment. Okay. So hit that like and uh, while you're at it, uh, hit the notification bell and, and subscription. Subscribe and share. Yeah, subscribe and share. Had to be the Sailita adventure, my friend. Oh yeah. Yeah. We did two videos in one. That was a fun. That was a fun night. Yeah. <clears throat> it was just like Sailita is alive. <laughs> Sailita was alive, and it was just good to see the life. Yes. Right. It was good to see the town doing well. It was good to see the people out there enjoying life, and uh, you know, good for Sailita for. Kind of doing what they've done and, you know, taking precautions, but at the same time keeping businesses open and allowing small businesses to survive. Uh, you know what? I, I give like three thumbs up for that one. Yeah. Wish more governments around the world had... Okay. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Shut up, Joel. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we could... See so like what happens when you get me going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll talk about Sailor so anyways, the Sight Elite adventure was pretty cool because uh, there were some break dancers in the uh, the plaza. We went had some cantaritos. We had two different types of tacos. Uh, we went down towards the beach, but I think by the time we it got there, dark. it was too dark. Yeah. But there was bands playing. There was those crazy electric yeah, guys, you know, like the robots. And then there was a fan, uh, one of our subscribers, that we uh, that somehow oh, yeah. yeah, like just yeah. near the end of the video. You know, the camera was on him and he was there with his wife, I believe, and they were just uh, finishing dinner and he noticed himself in there and then he shared it on the Facebook. Moving to Mexico Facebook page, which isn't ours, it's just a, a Moving to Mexico group. Oh, and then I it see. got a lot of uh, attention, like a ton of comments. So yeah. Hey, there I, I thought am there was, on my vacation. There I am on my vacation. Funny. I think he, was he here on vacation or does he live here now? I can't, I can't remember, but anyways, a thanks, uh, thanks for doing that. And uh, I thought that was cool and that all those things together kind of like, made me want to choose Sayulita. Cool. So we're moving down now to uh, four? number four. Number four. Uh, number four. I'm going to keep that nice What's and simple. What's like when people play golf and they hit the ball and it's <laughs> going towards people, what do they say? Four! Uh, so number four is how to make mole. And we did that with Travis and Edgar from oh, my yeah. Mexican kitchen. And uh, that was a memorable moment because, you know, they are, they make... Travis and Edgar are part of our very first memories here in Bucerias, Mexico, when we, you know, were first, um, you know, traveling and they first started their business. And I'm not entirely sure how we found out about them and I, because it was Jillian, but she booked these guys to come to our house and cook for our little party, very you know, nice. like our family over. And then every year we came here, we would always hire them to come and cook for our family for at least one night. And I think we were one of their very first customers, at least one of the mm -hmm. first three. Sure. And uh, so not only was that a memorable moment, uh, spending time with them here in Blue Street, learning how to make delicious mole, and that that dinner was great. It was delicious, yeah. yeah. And we I gotta have, go back. We gotta go back. We gotta do, guys, we're coming back to do another episode, and we're gonna, we gotta do that soon. And they, they do a taco tour. This is on what number three is. Oh, is that is that the time we went into uh, Osiris? Osiris Strip Club? No. No. Oh, okay, <laughs> never yeah. been there. That, that's, never. That's never happened. Yeah, actually, I've never been no, to Osiris never Strip been Club either. either. <laughs> but it is across the street for anyone. <laughs> Anyways, it's how to adopt a dog at a dog's oh, new life. that's totally different. Yeah. Number yeah, three. That's nice. It was a, you know, like, we're, we're animal lovers. Uh, we have a billion cats. Uh, down to two dogs. At one time, we had six. 
Uh, we just uh, we just um, rescued little Moki, and I gotta show you this picture. Hopefully, it's gonna show up. But wait, you see little Moki here? Oh, little Moki. You see little Moki? So we kind of came across her, and she was uh, at my old house, living outside the drain in the the heat, and pretty well probably wouldn't have survived the night. Yeah. Uh, so we picked her up, brought her home, and uh, took her to the vet. She had a high fever for about four days. We gave her some vitamins, mm -hmm. and uh, she bounced she, back. For three days, she slept straight, oh, okay. and then today she flipping bounced back. Oh, that's good. She's like chasing cats. I saw her the other day, and you guys were uh, concerned. Yeah, we were pretty concerned. Didn't yeah. look like little Mookie was gonna gonna make it but now she's gonna be like the strongest cat in the town she's probably gonna be the strongest cat in town anyway so we we do have a, a sensitive heart for for the animals here and a dog's new life i mean they do such an amazing job yeah. of taking in all the rescues and then not only rescuing them but finding them good finding homes, them homes and, yeah. and if you want one you know go check them out uh, yes in talk to jessica right? yeah or just go to their facebook and yeah. see which dogs are up for adoption oh, that's and true. they will bring them to you They'll so they'll fly. They they'll fly, fly the, the dog. dogs. Yeah. They put them in, uh, you know, crates, and they they find people like my neighbor uh, Karen. Right. She uh, she asked my mom a, a couple times. It didn't work out, but she said, "Oh, you're going back to, you know, you're flying into San Jose, California. Why don't you um, take back some dogs with you? We have a few." And I think the flight was full of other dogs, so yeah. it wasn't possible at that moment. But they <clears> will. Fly the dogs out to you. We are heading down to down number down. two. Oh. Numero dos. Numero dos. And uh, yeah, you know, even though these aren't necessarily ranked, you know, you still want to have the number one as kind of like the most memorable. Um, this is a pretty memorable time and a couple times in my life, but it was Asi and the San Angel. And the time that we all uh, went there and spent together, we had. Uh, uh, a nice night, we had a nice dinner, we had time in the pool, we went to Joe Jack's, we did all the things that we loved doing, and uh, we got some great video. You got some, and someone commented, like, we should buy a drone. Well, check out the drone shots here. Like, this is where Hacienda San Angel is located. It's uh, perched up on the hills overlooking the, the, the bay outside of Vallarta. You can see the mountains, you can see the bay, you see everything, and it is rich in history, uh, being that uh, Richard Burton had bought uh, the original house for his, his wife. And you know, when I uh, watch back that video, and yeah, as Paul said, like, I'm gonna put the, um, we'll put the link, we'll put the links to all the videos uh, in the description below, but watch the interview uh, with Paula, uh, who took over the hotel from her late mother. And when I watched the video and watched that interview, like literally, I was uh, very, very emotional. I had, I had tears, because you could really, you know, sense her emotion and everything that, all that energy and love that her mom put into Hacienda, she just took that in, right? So yeah. it's, it's just in, in it's a powerful yeah, moment. It's right? a powerful moment. So it's a very, very special place. So if you're you're in Vallarta and you're looking for a very special place to spend a night or two or three, um, I I recommend Hacienda San Angel. Like, you will not uh, regret it, and it's worth every single penny. You might think it's a little bit expensive, but it's worth every single penny. Are you ready for number one? I don't know if that was my robo voice. Like, who's that guy, Tron? Oh, I don't know. Is that how Tron speaks? I don't remember. I don't know. Anyways, I was trying to create something new. I uh, don't know if it quite worked out. Let us know below. <laughs> <laughs> let us know below if it didn't work out. If it didn't not. work out, no just thumbs down. Just, just let us know below. Didn't work out, didn't work out didn't man. Work out. Don't do that voice <laughs> ever again, Joel. Um, was the raw milk. <laughs> okay, when we went to... Number one is raw milk. Raw milk, dude. Yeah. And we went to the ranch and we had the pajaretes. Um, and the whole experience of, of uh, the rancher, the ranchero. <laughs> uh, Jenny was just uh, going to the ranch and, you know, the ranchero, we had a really awesome t uh, chat, you know, with him. And then he showed us, he explained the history of the pajaretes, and then he took a lot of care in making that. Yeah, he and did, and he had, like, somehow he, his hands are made of leather. Oh, my God. Because the guy, he it, was holding that cup that was on fire, like, that, like burnt one you. second. And then he filled up the milk, like, he filled it up with milk, and then pretty soon, you know, he hands it to me, 
and I grab it, and I had a I had a burn on my hand. Yeah, after, you, you I, did. I literally burnt my hand. And he didn't. And he didn't. So he was just like holding this cup. It's like on fire. Yeah. And he's like milking a cow. Yes. Uh, anyways, that's another. I mean, he's all these boy. all these videos. If you haven't seen, if you haven't seen any of these videos, you got to see all of them. Yeah. But this one, I would watch again. That's a fun one. That's a fun one. I think and that's why we picked it. We had fun shooting that one. We had right? we had a lot the of fun. The rest of the videos were bored. <laughs> right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're having we're having fun in, we, uh, in all the videos, yeah. but in that one, I think we were having a really good time. And, uh, but I, I just really, the milk, that was yeah. the, the pajaretes. The pajaretes they was. They were delicious. And, uh, and then the tacos. Oh, the tacos up at the restaurant. Yeah. Like, um, I didn't put that in the top 10 tacos because I don't kind of, I mean, it's outside of Bus Rios and want to kind of keep it two boosterios but the tacos up at the restaurant were uh, great and if you have an opportunity to get out to the ranch you know go for your pajarete and then uh, go up to the restaurant yeah. and it's a beautiful view on a clear day you see the whole bay you see the mountains um, it's uh, it's a pretty spectacular place well yeah. I was just gonna ask the viewers okay we could do that favorite video right so, so we gave you our top 10 why don't you let us know below um, your your top your number one yeah and we'll try to replicate that video in every video. <laughs> yeah, we'll we just do. try to do that every right. single time. <laughs> just make our viewers happy. All right, so on that note, it is that time of the week where we're going to give away a week's day in Mexico, and that's based on the people who got the answer correct last week are going into the randomizer. You're, you're grinning. No, I'm just... Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. I thought maybe I was making you cringe. No, that was earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah. So everyone who got the answer correctly from last week's video, which was the smoothie that I drank, which was the uh, the no bad days. No bad days. No bad days. And the normal one that I do drink, which is the Pura Vida. I did accept, if someone said um, pure life, I, I gave that to them. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. If it's someone said... Uh, no mal dias or any replication there. Ger uh, the German version is uh, what I put. Uh, yes. Did you put the German version? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, German Schneisel, version. Schneisel. <laughs> Schneisel, Schneisel. All right. So uh, this week's winner who got it right, Lisa Dando, D-N-D-O, Lisa, L-I-S-A. And she did guess Pura Vida and No Bad Days. And there she is. Proof. Proof. All right. Cool. <laughs> that she answered correctly and... Uh, yeah, she was number 37. Go figure. Amazing. All right, so now I said um, we're just going to draw from our members. Okay. Because we hit a milestone, 50 members. So I thought, well, let's put them all in. We have 51, yeah, actually. every milestone we should do that, right? Yeah, so the next is going to be 100. Next 50, or, yeah, yeah once so it's 100. Once we're 100, I'm going to give away another bonus trip cool. to members only, okay? Okay. All right, so number 25, the 25th member listed on our list is... Kurt, K-U-R-T. I'm gonna like show you. So Kurt. Let me focus. You can talk. Um, okay. I guess it's. Well, you're a taquito member. So. Yeah. Anyways, Kurt, uh, congratulations. You have won yourself a week's stay in Mexico, and that's our bonus. So. Yeah. All right. On that note, everybody, thanks again. Muchas gracias for uh, joining us, uh, Paul and I, and the whole moving to Mexico family. Uh, you know, we appreciate every each and every one of you for supporting our channel. And if you love what we're doing, please, you know, hit that like button, um, subscribe to our channel, toggle the notification bell, and tell all your friends. You yeah, know, share, let them, right? yeah, share. Let them have a chance to win a week in Mexico, and just tell them, hey, if you win, you got to take me with you. Okay, everybody, thanks again, and nos vemos hasta luego, and adios.